Hi guys, me Dai Charge Brain right in this another video and today we'll be doing the unboxing for the BBR Ferrari SF71 for, uh, race car. So let's dive straight to this unboxing video right now. Alright then, so before I dive straight to unboxing this model right here, let me just show you guys the outside the box itself and what you get for this model itself. So outside the box itself, you get two components of the box itself. So one component will be this box sleeve right here, which is this all white thing right here you're looking at. And the other part will be the main box itself. So for the first part of the box will be the main, the white color sleeve. That really doesn't have much to show other than you got this. BBR right, uh, BBR model emblem right at the top right here, which you can feel it if you to rub your hand or glaze your hand over it. You can see the BBR model embroidery right here. And other than that, that's all for the white color sleeve. You can call it to wrap around the box, the box itself. The second part of it will be the main box itself, which let me see. I could do it one handedly. Okay. So second part of the box right here, if you guys are looking at right now, will be the box main box itself. Uh, let me just talk about the side right here, which you are looking at right at the moment. So for this side right here, you only get the one, the model destination which you are getting. So in this case, it will be a 180 gear model itself. And you got this two-tone look, which is a red and a black uh, look. Moving on to the other side will be also the same thing, which you guys saw early on. But this time around, the only difference is you get this somewhat this uh, color separation. So one side got this black, black color look. And the other side got this maroon red with a bit of uh, gloss red at the top. And you get this Italian flag right here to show you guys uh, where the model BBR is from. So basically BBR is from Italy. So hence the Italian flag right here. And yeah, same thing on the other side which you guys saw earlier on. The one eating scale model destination itself. Moving on to the top of the box right here. At the top of the box right here, you get this continuous Italian flag which flows all the way to the top right here. You got your Ferrari and uh, shield right here. Um, and right here at the top here, you get three different types of Ferrari Formula 1 cars, if I'm not wrong. Or basically, no, sorry. Basically, you get uh, Ferrari Formula 1 cars and the Ferrari Special Program Race cars. So basically, the FSXK and the, and the, if I'm not wrong, the FSX and the 599 on other Ferrari race, road racing race car. That is to the extreme. Other than that, uh, that's for the top of the box itself. Let me just show you at the bottom. Bottom, it will be the uh, just your advisory. The sticker of, of the sticker that tells you that this is an official li licensed Ferrari product. And more of the website to get all your BBR models from. Other than that, uh, oh yeah, and you recommend the ages and do not put, put it under long sunlight. So in this case, for BBR will be not recommended for people below 18 years old. Uh, if I'm not wrong, Otoa is 16. I could be wrong on that, but yeah. Uh, let me just move on to the final part of the box right here, which is the box flat. Uh, for the box flat on this side, you get just your model destination, which is a 18 scale model itself. You get the BBR logo and the BBR website to get all your BBR models from. On the other side right here, you get the same thing, just that in this case, you get your model information. So in this case, mine is a B, uh, Ferrari SF71H, driven by Sebastian Vettel in the 2018 Can Canadian Grand Prix and the winner of the race itself. So yeah, other than that, let me just unbox this model for you guys right now. Alright, so I managed to unbox the model from the box itself. And uh, before I show you guys the model itself, let me just show you guys, let me just run through the what you get for the on the outside of the styrofoam box itself so for the styrofoam box itself main thing you get your this if i'm not this should be the model uh code itself and main th and moving on you got more of the bbr logo right at the top right here with all the embroidery and if i'm not wrong this should correct me if i'm wrong but i if i'm if i'm correct my 2019 bbr fries uh sf90 race star doesn't have this feature which I wish BBR still implement this, but basically this, the SF71H has a mobile DRS wing, which can be operated uh, up and down, like in, in the real life for uh, F1 car itself. So basically DRS once they're getting close to the opponent or rival, they will open up the flat and it will basically give them more aerodynamic itself. And I like it that BBR implement this on this model right here you're about to see so yeah 
Other than that, um, oh yeah, for BBM models, one thing I also like about it is mainly you get this touch screw right here, which you can either use a hand to turn manually or use a screwdriver to unscrew itself. So as you guys can see, right at the bottom here, you get this screwdriver, this screw, sorry, that you can just either use a screwdriver or use your bare hand to twist it to open up or to twist it to secure it back in. That's one thing I really like about it. Other than that, let me just show you guys the model right now. So here it is guys, my Ferrari SF71H by Sebastian Vettel. Voila. And yes, I would say, I would, oh, uh, first person wise, man, I, I really, okay, sorry guys. The red on the, if I'm not wrong, this should be the 2018 season. Race car looks so much brighter compared to the 2021 seasons. So yeah, if you guys didn't know, Ferrari has this switch from a gloss red to a matte red instead. So I understand why Ferrari decided to do that. Cause I'm a big fan of the gloss red because gloss red look even nicer if there's natural sunlight or there's bright as light that is shining on it. Especially if it, sorry, especially if this is a street circuit at night, like uh my like the Singapore Grand Prix which I I usually would attend the bright red would look so much nicer on photos and videos compared to the matte red. So not too sure why Ferrari switched to that, but other than that, let me just let me just get back to the model itself. So mainly, as you guys uh can see, the some the rules and regulation for twenty eighteen, um, and twenty twenty one. There's definitely a big difference. So yeah, other than that, I don't really much to say. Other than it's great to have another. I would say the uh, 2010 season, 2010 to 2020 season, uh, Ferrari from the one time in my collection. So yeah, other than that, uh, that's all I say for this video itself. These two models definitely will be add, will be added to my collection, which will be right over somewhere over there. So you guys can expect it to see at my September draft update video itself. So I think hopefully by then the these two videos should be out already. So yeah, other than that, that's all I say for this video itself. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Diecast Break. And my friends should pop right about here. And see more models from my collection. You can follow me on DB Collection on Instagram. And should be popping right about here. And last but not least, kind of subscribe button down right below to see more videos like this. Or clear the subscribe and clear to see my two other videos. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>